Hello everyone! In this video we get to install some drives. We're going to focus specifically on a hard disk drive and an optical disk drive. Now first, we have the hard drive. Now this is an adapter. It's not actually a full hard drive. It's a three and a half inch hard drive adapter. And the reason this is important is because people commonly like to purchase these type of drives. These are solid states. They come in a two and a half inch side, which is meant for a laptop. With adapters like this, we can easily take a solid state hard drive, drop it into position, and close the lever. As we close it, now the two and a half inch drive is in a three and a half inch adapter. With this being done, we can easily just slide this into our computer case and do the install of our screws. Now for my computer case, it accepts both two and a half inch and three and a half inch drives, so I don't need to require an adapter for my case. But at this point in time, we can take our two and a half inch solid state drive and we can install it into our case. When I line it up with the two screws, which we'll be able to see there's many different screw holes on the side of these, we need to align it up perfectly with a set of the holes. Now for me, my two and a half inch hard drive fits beautifully right here. And then I can do my second screw. And now my two and a half inch solid state hard drive is installed. After this, we want to install the optical disk drive. First, we need to make sure our front panel of our case has been removed. The front panel of the case is right here. And this is the slot where we're going to install our optical disk drive. Now the first thing we need to do is remove this front panel because it's in the way for us to actually be able to access the optical disk drive. Here we have these levers that we can actually pull out. In every case will be a little bit different. But it'll have some type of snaps or levers and I can remove that front panel. Now with it removed, if I put it on its back again, take a look at that we have this bay here where we can slide in our optical disk drive. Now, as you slide the optical disk drive in, please make sure it's facing the correct orientation. That is extremely important. We'd hate to have to turn the tower upside down every time we want to use the drive. Now with my case, the drive locks in using a lever mechanism as I slid it in. As you saw previously with the power supply, this will hold it in place, so we can then just place our screws to lock it in, which we'll do now. Awesome. Next, we'll continue on with installing adapter cards to provide our computer tower with even more functionality.